Hey family, welcome back to the channel. It's Ebony dropping by with another quick message. Uh, welcome. Please don't hesitate to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as well as turn on your notification bell so you're notified whenever I release any new content. Uh, I was just about to be off to bed, but the Lord has been putting this word on my heart, something heavy, so I had to jump on and release it to you all. This is for someone in particular. There has been an individual in your life who wanted to be God in your life. They wanted to be God in your life. The devil is alive. This individual has clearly been being used by ungodly uh, spirits, by unclean spirits. And they've come into your life to pose as a distraction. This individual um, has been a counterfeit in your life. Whether they've been a counter, uh, counterfeit um, spouse or, or lover or uh, even a friend. These individuals have been being used by unclean spirits. That individual um, wanted to be God in your life. They wanted to be your source. They wanted you, they wanted to be the only instruction that you followed. They wanted to be able to influence you and persuade you to do what they wanted you to do and be the person that they wanted you to be. They created this vision of who you should be in their minds. And it's as if each and every day they tried to make you that but that was never God's intention for your life that's why it failed see there's only one true God there's only one God and that's our Heavenly Father our Creator you know we're to worship the Creator not the creation. And for someone to have this viewpoint or some sense of expectancy or some type, some sort of uh, entitlement that they feel that you owe them something, that the world owes them something, that you are supposed to meet their standard of a human being for some reason and they are so sadly mistaken who are they to dictate your life or who you should be only God can tell you who who you are and who you should be the Lord created you in his perfect and holy image not man's continue to keep God first And the particular individual that this is for, you may have been in a relationship with this individual and it seems the closer you got to God, the more you would spend time in that secret place, the more time that you would spend in prayer and worship and things of that nature, this individual would just come in and interrupt all of a sudden. You can be in deep prayer and you can feel things shifted in the spirit in your life and circumstance even your your physical environment you can feel things shifting in the spirit as you would be praying and worshiping to the lord you would be really all in really deep into it and this individual will just bust into the room all of a sudden and bust out talking loud or come and sit down next to you and start having a conversation as if they couldn't see what you were doing and then they would pretend as if it was an accident or something when you call them out and say, you know what, I'm in prayer right now. This person wasn't crazy. It's those unclean spirits. Came to try and distract you. Came to try and take your, your mind and focus off the Lord. You know. But the devil is lying. The gates of hell shall never prevail against the child of God. See. In all of this, the enemy was trying to use it for bad, trying to distract you, trying to keep get your focus 
off of the Lord and what he has for you to do, trying to delay you, trying to hinder you, trying to throw roadblocks up, uh, you know, in front of you. But at the end of the day, the Lord used all this for good. He's using all this for your good. Because at the end of the day, this has strengthened you. It has only strengthened your spiritual muscle. It has only strengthened your endurance. It has only strengthened you spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. You know, this earth that we are on right now is our spiritual training ground. And through all of the spiritual warfare that we we've gone through are going through all of the spiritual warfare that you're going through right now and that which you've been through that was all with purpose and it was all for your purpose it was all to glorify God because in all of that each tear you've cried every battle you fought and overcome Every mistake, every lesson, every trial, every tribulation, every test, all of that has only made you stronger. It's only built your character. It's only built that spiritual muscle as well. Because in order to get to the next level, you must first pass one level. And in order to pass that level, you must learn things. You must stretch. You must learn how to stand up and fight spiritually. And that's exactly what you've been doing. So though the enemy tried to use it for evil, he tried to use it for his benefit, God used it for your good. It's all to benefit you. And is it gonna he's gonna glorify the Lord? Because in doing that, you have broken free from strongholds that you have been in. There are chains that have been breaking off of you. Even now, I can hear them in the spirit. You have been delivered from many things. You have been healing. You have been transforming. You have been getting closer and closer to the Lord. You have been drawing nearer and nearer to the Lord. This individual wanted to be your God. They wanted you to hold them up high on a pedestal. They wanted you to exalt them. As I said, they wanted their instruction to be the only instruction that you followed. They wanted to be able to influence you against the will of God. And though it may not have been this person literally, but it was the unclean spirits within them. Because the enemy will always use those closest to you. He will always try and use those that you really love because he knows that those individuals do have an influence. Or not necessarily influence, but an impact on your life. He knows that if he can get in that spouse, he knows if he can get in them children, he knows if he can get in your parents, if he can get in your, your sibling or your best friend, you know. He feels like that'll be a, that could be a sneak attack because you won't see it coming. Because you trust these individuals. You love these individuals. You may even look up to some of these individuals. But the Lord says the devil is alive. You see these things taking place. And you question them. You're like, Lord, have they lost their mind? Lord, do, do they really expect me to just listen to whatever they say? Do they expect me just to follow them wherever they go? Do they really just expect me to just worship them in a sense or lift them up on a pedestal and then they, you know, try to get me to go against you? I mean, Lord, what's not clicking here? That's why the Lord is sending you, uh, you know, this confirmation right here and right now. Some of these individuals may even speak out of a place of jealousy or envy when you speak about your relationship with the Lord. And for a moment there, you like, am I tripping? Or is this individual really? Yeah, they are. And no, you're not tripping. That's the unclean spirits within them. But you know what? The Lord says, continue to pray for your enemies and bless those who curse you. 
Your discernment is right on point. It's on target. And at the end of the day, like I said, there's only one God. They wanted to be your God, but the devil is a lie. You know, and if an individual really think that that's going to happen, they really must have fallen and bumped their heads. <laughs> but, you know, this person has had so much influence on so many individuals throughout their lifetime that they expected you to be no different. But you the chosen one. See, it may have worked on others. But you're the chosen one. For them to expect that to work on you, I mean, you know, it's something they fail to see in you. There's only one God. And it's almost as if they put themselves in a competition with God for your attention. And that is a... <laughs> That is just ridiculous because there is no possible way that they were going to win that, that competition. There is no competition there, but these unclean spirits have manipulated their minds so much as to make them believe that that can really even be pray for these individuals because they need it. These individuals are so lost in their sin. All they can see is darkness. All they can see is darkness at the moment. You know, the enemy has got them confused. He's got the wool pull, pull over their eyes. He's been deceiving them. He's been manipulating them. He's been using them. All to try and inflict harm on you. To inflict harm on themselves and others around them. The enemy's been trying to use him to deceive you and deceive others. He's trying to recruit individuals for the kingdom of darkness. But God said, no. Nah, not my child. You can't have that one. You can't touch that one right there. This one belonged to me. This is my child. This is the chosen one. I got great purpose for this individual right here. So you know what? I pray that this word it blesses you and encourages you. I love you. God loves you. God bless you. Talk to you soon.